Hello guys, welcome to this video. I will still be looking at the ICT um, specimen paper 2023. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to focus on the um, spreadsheet aspect. Okay, so let's move on. You are going to prepare a. Uh, you're going to prepare an invoice using a spreadsheet for Tawara Digital Storage. This company makes and sells storage devices. All prices are in euros, which must be displayed to two decimal places. Make sure that you, you use efficient formulae. Okay. So eight, open and examine the files, uh, spec invoice.csv and spec ssd.csv in a spreadsheet package. Okay. So let's, of course, uh, this is my uh, evidence. Sorry, this is my uh, files. Okay. So I'm going to open spec invoice. And then, of course, open the second one, which is the spec uh, SSD. Um, are you opening? Okay, good. So it's opening. So what I'm going to do, let me just make sure that all my information is shown in every uh, cell. Okay. So, of course, something looks like uh, this information is arranged in a uh, vertical, so which give us, gives us the idea we're going to use some VLOOKUP or something. And then, of course, uh, so you have the unit price here. You have a capacity and model, right? And then for the spec um, invoice, uh, you have all this. So you have uh, something like, uh, what's it called? Number of items here. Uh, number of items, model, capacity, uh, unit price, and all that. Okay. So uh, so we have an idea, a bit of idea of what we may do here. Okay. So that's the essence of uh, examination of this um, file. Okay. So the next question says save a spec invoice as a spreadsheet with the file name invoice underscore followed by your uh, setter number underscore candidate number. Okay, so let me just copy this for comment sake. So I'll just copy that. I will go ahead to file here and then save as. And then you want to browse for your file. Hope he finds it. Okay, good stuff. So um, so I will save it in my work area actually. And then have the name as uh, invoice underscore um, my center number, which is ng156 underscore uh, 0004. Okay, so of course, the question says uh, that we should uh, save in uh, spreadsheet format. Okay, so you want to choose Excel workbook and then save that. Okay, good. Um, okay, so I think here. We're done here. So match cells A1 to F1 format the top of the spreadsheet to look like what we have the here. Okay. All right. Um, so let's see. So I can actually but let me okay. So let's merge it first of all from A1 to F1. So I want to merge and center. And then I want to change this. Um, I don't know why. So let me call. Let me use Calibri. In fact, let me use Calibri for for my. Let me actually use Calibri. Uh, does he use Calibri here? Calibri. Okay. So I'm going to actually increase the font. Let me just get this down a little further, and then increase the font something like this. Okay. Let me maybe make it bold. Mm, should it be bold? Let me see. I don't even think if he's bold actually. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Um, so I'm good with this actually, not too much. Um, you know. So, but I can make it calib. Let me make it calibre light, and then uh, now make it bold. Is there any difference? Eh, no difference actually, but that's fine. So at least it looks like what we have here, right? Yeah, that's enough for me. Okay. So number nine, place your name, center number, and candidate number left aligned. In the footer okay mm, so i'll go right back there and then go to insert you want to get to text here and then uh, header and footer i want to go down to footer because the question says uh um can the okay, left aligned in the footer okay so our information has to be left aligned so i'll have my name kichuku and all left form comma ng156 
comma 004 will be my candidate number okay so I'll do that and then go to view sorry yeah view okay so you need to click at the middle and before you can go to normal okay so that's about it so this one is done so you earn yourself uh, one mark for doing this so uh, number 10 please uh, place functions in cells c9 to e9 to look up the model capacity and unit price of each item using a product uh, code for the lookup uh, value and the external file spec ssd.csv for the array okay so make sure that if no data is entered in the product code right uh, then nothing is displayed in cell C9 to E9. Okay, so this is cell. Let's see. So this is cell uh, C9 and this is cell E9. E9. I suppose so. From here to here, we need to uh, enter a formula. All right. So and we want to make sure that if you put anything in the E9, which is the product code um, uh, row or column, uh, you will not have anything in here. Okay. Mm, let's see other, any other information so we're going to look up the model and the capacity okay uh, using this uh, spec ssd dot uh, csv uh, folder i mean sorry file yeah okay so what we can do here is to click on cell uh, c9 right and of course we're going to use this other for a lookup function this other uh, uh, excel file to for a lookup uh, array okay so let's do that so we're going to use the view lookup since our array is in vertical uh, format. So view lookup. Am I correct here? Okay, so let me just choose it here from here. View lookup. So the first thing is the lookup value. So from here we can see from the question the lookup value will be the uh, product code, which is a nine comma. So the table array, the table array is going to be our second table here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything here. Okay, put on my control key and then the shift key and then move down and then I press the down button or the down arrow uh, key, right? So that will select everything for us here. Okay. Okay, so and then that automatically locks it for us, uh, the selection and then the column index. So what am I looking for here? So what I'm looking for is actually uh, the model, right? So in the, uh, in our lookup, uh, file or lookup array, you find out that the model is in the one, sorry, this one's two, three, four, the fourth um, column. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to have four here. Okay, and then comma, and then I want uh, exact match, then I want to choose false. Okay, and then close this, and then enter. Okay, so obviously, um, it's going to return this. Um, value n a hash n a or n slash a because there's no value here. Assuming I have s s uh, d one, it's going to return a value here. So s s d one matches the uh, the first uh, what's it called code here, right? So once you put s s d one, it's going to return the equivalent model, right? Okay, so but. If you look at the question, it says that we should make sure that if no data is entered in the product code column, then nothing is displayed. So obviously, um, they anticipated that you're going to have an error. So we want to make it in such a way that uh, this error will not be there, right? So what, I'm, what we're going to do is to control it using the, the if, if function. So we want to have if here, open bracket, if uh, this value um, this um, cell, which is a a nine, if it's equals to nothing, so that is that it denotes empty, and then you have to return empty. Okay. Okay, so you have to return empty comma. So if the lookup uh, cell, if they are empty, then Excel will return empty. But if they are not empty, then the VLOOKUP function will calculate okay so i'm going to close the second um, um, bracket for the if function and then enter so as you can see nothing will show here okay 
All right, so we can do that, that same thing with the rest here. So we can actually copy this. So let me just uh, copy this one, um, press escape, and then paste it here. So here, we're looking for actually the, uh, what's it called? We're looking for, okay, so let me just leave SSD one here, SSD one here, just to control, to be able to know exactly what I'm expecting here. So you see here, it, gives, it returns this, it returns uh, the same thing. So what you want to do is this, what you have here in the column is capacity. So you want to go back to that, uh, to the lookup array. You see that uh, this is the second column that you want to return. We are interested here in the third column, which is the capacity in GB, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll go to the formula for the view lookup here for the capacity. Click on, click on it, go to the formula bar. So you want to return uh, the index number the index number you want, want to have three there, okay? So, so that you're able to return the right um, value. So the right value will be the um, capacity, so 250, okay? So I'm using uh, this value that I put in here, SSD1, just to make sure it returns the right um, value, okay? All right. Um, Let's see. Okay, so it's going to run from, okay, so unit price to, we need to return unit price. So, which means that I can actually paste the formula, that same formula here. And then, of course, unit price is in what um, uh, column? Is the, is in the second column here. Okay, so you need to understand uh, how to use the VLOOKUP very well to do this. Okay, so it's a second column. So, what I'm going to do is simply to control the index number to 2, make it 2, and then enter. So that will give me 84. So let me just go and experiment and see that it's 84. So it returns the right value here, which is 84. So that's very, very correct. Okay. So I can go as I can go on to remove this. So if I remove this, nothing, you're not going to see anything here. All right. Okay. So now one more thing, one more idea I want to give you is that obviously you can still use the X lookup because X lookup is now the new. A function introduced uh, in the IGCSE uh, syllabus. Okay, so we, let's try using the X lookup and see whether we can um, get a uh, maybe you know the an equivalent um, result. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to do it. Okay, so let me just have SS, SSD one here. Let me just still leave it there, so so that I'll have the the right value. So in the in the second uh, row here, which is uh, C10. I'm going to use the X lookup and C. Okay, so what we can use equal sign and then X lookup. By the way, I'm using uh, 365. So if you're using some, if you're using any uh, Office Excel of 2019 and below, uh, you may not have X uh, lookup function. But I think from 2021 uh, Excel Office, uh, you can you will have it and then 365. Okay, so those are the ones that have it. Okay, all right. So we have X lookup. So our lookup uh, value will be the uh, A10 here. Okay. So I'll have a uh, comma and then lookup array. My lookup array is going to be from here. So I'm going to get this. But let me just click here and then hold on my control and shift and then press down button or uh, yeah, the arrow down key. Okay. So that will be my lookup array. Okay, so what would be my return array? So what am I interested in? What uh, column am I interested in to return? I'm interested in the model, right? So what I'm going to do is to go to the model. So I don't have to, you know, select everything. So I need to just select the column, the model, the model column. So hold on my control key and shift key one more time and then select every, everything in that column, right? And then this time around, I don't, I don't need to use, uh, I can just use the, uh, the first three parameters, okay? You don't need to do exact match. It will return the exact match. But as you can see here, you can see that not if not found. If not found, I can put something like a not found or, oh, okay. You can put a message that if the value is not found, okay, then what do you want it to return? I can do, um, okay, not found. I can put a, a value there, not found. But it's not necessarily, I don't think it's necessary to put it, okay? Because I know that I selected the right, um, you know, uh, range, okay? So I'm just going to close it right there and then 
enter okay so that will also give me not applicable so i will simply control it from here if uh, if uh, a10 um, is equals to uh, nothing return nothing something like that so and then of course close my second uh, bracket right there and then enter okay so that will give me something good so if i go here to put ssd1 also let me see ssd1 ss sorry i put too much ss <laughs> ssd1 so let's see what it's going to return so it's going to return the same thing okay so uh the formula is very very uh correct so um x lookup is more like an improved form of v lookup and uh uh what's the other one a uh, h lookup okay so um x lookup is actually smarter but for the sake of this um paper i'm going to use i'm just going to use the v lookup i'm going to stick with this uh, v lookup okay i just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, you know x lookup okay so let's stick to uh, v lookup because i know that uh, most of you will understand uh, v lookup okay all right so um so that's it so i think um i'm done with this okay so uh, from uh, c9 to e9 so i think we've uh, been able to achieve what we wanted so this is uh, e9 so we've been able to have the um the formula there okay so i'll remove the product code which i used to verify that our formula uh, was working okay so i can actually select this and then this one is done so number 11 Place in cell F9 a formula to multiply the number of uh, items by the unit price. Make sure that if no data is entered in the uh, number of items column, then nothing is displayed in cell F9. Okay. So in F9, cell F9, let's go to F9. Okay, so we're there. So it's going to multiply a uh, number of items by the unit price. So we're going to have equals uh, number of items. Uh, this number of items, which is B9. So multiply by hmm, what did I read again? <laughs> unit price. Multiply by unit price. Okay. So we're going to have something like that. So, but obviously it will give us a, a value error because we need to control it in such a way that. Um, uh, if no data is entered in the number of uh, items column, then nothing is displayed in F in cell F9. So, so we want to go to and use that same uh, method. Um, if open bracket, if uh, this number of items column that is B9 is equals to nothing, return nothing, comma. So if there's any value there, so you can now do the multiplication. That's what this means, okay? So you can close that, then enter. So nothing is going to be returned. So it's not going to, you're not going to see any error anymore because the if uh, if function has handled that, okay? Okay. I think uh, so. This is done. Okay. So replicate the formula, uh, formula entered in steps uh, 10 to 11, okay? So let's go ahead to replicate, uh, okay, th enter, uh, sorry, let's read that uh, very well. Replicate the formula, the formula entered in steps 10 to 11 for rows, for rows 10 to 19, for rows 10 to 19. So we had a formula here, so we want to extend it from 10 to 19 so make sure you stop here in your replication okay so stop at uh, c19 so i'm going to do that same thing here to uh, d19 and then the price then i'm going to stop here okay which is e19 and then of course here i'm going to do the same thing and then stop here so i'll be careful with that okay f19 all right Okay, so number 12 is done. So number 13, place in cell F21 a function to calculate 
the total of uh, the price uh, column okay f uh, 21 okay f 21 where are you f 21 here yeah so by the uh, name box here that's how you know okay all right so f21 okay so the question says that we should put a function to calculate the total of the price column okay okay so this is the price column here right so you want to make sure that we have the total so we can have equal sign so we're going to use sum now and then our range is going to be from here f9 to um f19 so be, be be very careful not to add f20 okay so we can have that and then enter so that's it all right so this is done okay so apply appropriate formatting to all uh cells in um in rows 9 to 21 okay in rows 9 to 21 so let me do something here so let me just enter let's see mm, let me use ssd1 here so you find out that the price here the price is here uh, the unit price here is in um, you know it's just uh, 84 so but the question says that we should format the rows 9 to 21 so we want to uh, give appropriate formatting for uh, rows 9 to 21 okay so here we have uh, the price unit price and all that okay so we want to select everything here so let me just remove this so since I've identified that these are um, the prices so and then uh, let me just uh, go to home and then from number uh, uh, group here you want to expand that you want to make make them currency and then remember from the question from the first explanation that we should make uh, all prices are in euros okay must be in two decimal places okay so let's remember that so we're going to make this euros okay so of course the decimal places they're already in two decimal places so we can look for euro here mm, have i passed it okay so we have euros here i like to take um, england or something or Britain but I don't know if I can find it here so but I can take any of them let me just take um, uh, was it okay so let me just take euro here let me just take the normal euro here okay instead of using a country so I'll okay that there so and then of course this one too has to be formatted which is a total uh, okay so I need to format that too so let me just uh, go down one more time and then take euros and then that's it so let me test again ssd1 and then see that they are in euros right so if i put a value here um sorry um, so if i put a value here a uh, number of items if i put something like uh, two and then this this one will be calculated for me and then this also will be calculated okay so everything in two, in two decimal places and in euros so we are good with that with those okay so i can remove all these uh, test values that i'm using okay all right so that's it for that um let me go down again where am i okay so we've been able to apply appropriate appropriate uh, formatting for those okay so um yep all right so number 15 print your spreadsheet showing uh, the formula make sure it is in landscape orientation okay so let's uh, go ahead to show the formula formula okay so you want to go to data is it data not really formulas please uh, formulas are uh, you want to go to show formulas okay and then everything will show so you want to select uh, uh, all the columns and then you want to double click so that, so that everything will show okay so it has to be in um, um portrait i mean sorry uh, landscape orientation so um i want to go to print and then make sure it's in landscape it's in portrait now so i can make it landscape okay and then what's the next thing um the row and column headings are displayed so i want to go to page setup um i want to go to sheet and then i um, want to go to row and column headings 
okay so you want to okay okay that and then that will show the uh the row and column headings okay grid lines are displayed the grid lines are displayed okay so i forgot the grid line so you can click on page setup again and then go to the sheet and then make sure that the grid line is also uh, checked and then the grid lines will show right and then the content of all cells are fully visible okay so in this case you don't need to make it to maybe enter one page or something like that okay so everything is visible so your interest is to make sure that all the the contents are visible and as you can see they are all visible so you can just go ahead and print it the way it looks like this okay so i can just go to print and then print my work okay okay so let me just uh, for the sake of it let me just uh, go ahead to do that where am i Am I in the right place? Nope, not really. Uh, let me just go to uh, farm. Okay, so within my work area, I can do this. This is step what? I can save this as step 15. I can step, uh, save this as step 15. Uh, step 15 uh, printout. Printout 1 to PDF. So I can save that. And then uh, let's see. So I can go right there in my work area, and then they see the, that the printout is there. Okay. So this has going to look like when you print out. Okay. So and uh, it looks okay. All right. So the examiner is simply interested in the formula, formula, uh, formulae or the formula used. Okay. Or formulas used. Okay. So I'll close that, and I think uh, this is done. Okay. So uh, number 16, enter the address as shown and format it like this, okay? All right, so let's enter the address, uh, Tawara Technology Solutions. Uh, let's see, B, um, that's B3, okay? Tawara Technology Solutions, okay? So let's go ahead, oops, so let's, um, let me re remove formula, oh, sorry, formula, and then click on that. And then uh, double clicking in between the row. Um, so let me just adjust this one just to look. Um, am I correct here? Just adjust this one a bit. Okay. Okay. So we want to have uh, Tawara Technology Solutions. Tawara Technology Solutions. So I'm going to just adjust this a bit, right? Um, yep. So let's see. Let me let's see how it looks one more time. Okay. So 32 Acacia Avenue. 32. 32 Acacia Avenue. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Am I correct? Acacia Avenue, yep. Yeah. And then the next one is uh, Tawara. So I'll have Tawara. Okay. And then 45673. 45673. Okay. Oops. So this one has to be left aligned. The value has to be left aligned. Okay. So I think uh, that is done. Okay. So enter these uh, product codes and number of items into the invoice. Okay. So we have SSD 18. So let's put that. SSD. Uh, let me have it as a capital SSD 18. And then... Um, Uh, I'm gonna have one, uh, one here at number of items, and then ten. Okay. Oops, we're gonna have. Okay, let's put the S, uh, the other one. So we have um, SSD thirty four, SSD thirty four here, and then of course uh, the value will be calculated for us here for the price. Okay, so this is what we get. Okay, so I need to make. Make sure everything shows well here. 
Mm, is there anything that is not showing? I think everything is uh, fine here. So let's see. Mm, yeah. So enter these uh, product codes and number of items into the invoice. Yes, we've done that. Save your spreadsheet. Uh, print the entire spreadsheet. Uh, sorry, spreadsheet here yeah, showing the values. Okay. So um, print, print, print out fit. So make sure print out fit on a single page. Okay. So let's go ahead to do that. So um, we want to print as values, right? Um, so let's go to file. Let's go to print. And then, of course, uh, you want to print. Um, okay, first of all, let me just uh, select the area and then use uh, print selection. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, print out fix on a single page. So I want to uh, go to uh, print. Uh, print active sheet. So let me just say print uh, selection, which is actually what I selected, right? And then what's the land? What's the orientation content of all cells? Okay, let me make sure that I think everything fits on a single page. So which is good. Uh, so this one is taken care of. And then of course, um, uh, contents of all cells are fully visible, which is true. Grid lines are not displayed. Okay. So let me just uh, remove the grid lines. So go to page setup and then, of course, uh, these and then, you know, grid lines are not displayed. Let me see if there's another row and column headings are not displayed. Okay. So I need to check this one off also. And then, okay, that and then this is what we get. Okay. So this is how uh, it's going to look like. Our uh, invoice is going to look like. Okay. So I'll go ahead to select this. Okay. Mm, okay, so we can actually print. So normally we can print to PDF just like we I did in the other printout. Okay, so uh, I think that's it. So you can go ahead to uh, click on uh, print. Uh, okay, so printing. Okay, so printing the evidence document. That's the last one, All right? So make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number appear on every page of your evidence document. Save your evidence document print your evidence document okay of course you can go ahead to print the evidence document okay this uh, okay so that's it all right um okay so guys thank you so much for this one and uh don't forget to subscribe and share the video all right thank you so much i will see you guys in the next one bye